Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading. Leo, let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of April in regards to love and romance. Oh, wow. All right, Leos, you guys have the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, two Nines, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Lover's Card. Wow. All right, Leos. Okay. So for some of you Leos, you may be dealing with an Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, for others, a Virgo in particular. Uh, we also do see some Water Energy here, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Lovers, Gemini as well. All right, so you guys do have two nines here. What Spirit is saying is that you guys are finally coming to a culmination, some type of some type of ending cycle. Uh, we do have the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. So for some of you guys, uh, what Spirit is saying is that commitment is coming towards you guys. You do have the Seven of Cups, so there is a bit of confusion in regards to relationships in regards to choosing a partner uh for some of you guys you may be dealing with more than one person uh this is specifically for those that are just dating um now what they're saying is that for some of you guys um there was a situation in regards to a relationship perhaps that you wanted uh, some type of commitment some type of um I see you guys like waiting, um, but waiting in regards to someone to make up their mind or to commit 100% to the cause, to the situation, to the partnership. Um, but then you started to really, really know exactly what it is that you wanted. And for some of you guys, you came to the understanding that this particular person was definitely not going to either give you the commitment or settle down. Uh, for some of you guys, there was a decision that was made and you walked away from this connection or this partnership. Somebody definitely gave up in the situation as we do have the nine of wands here. But I do see you guys going or walking towards a commitment. Now, if you guys are currently dealing, currently dealing with an ex or perhaps someone that you were in a relationship previously, and it didn't work out and they're coming back around or trying to make some type of commitment, trying to prove something to you. Um, if in fact you are now dealing with someone new, what spirit is telling you is that you are getting to the point of having to be having to make a decision. So I see you guys at crossroads for some of you guys. It could be like uh, being confused about your feelings being confused about choosing a specific person if you are dealing with two people i feel that one person could be an ex or someone that just didn't want to commit or didn't want to like put a name on the relationship um and i see them wanting to get your attention wanting to come back but at the same time, I feel that you guys are more confused because you're not sure if it's worth even putting effort anymore. Uh, you do have the three of pentacles here, so I do see you uh, contemplating or thinking about giving the opportunity to a person from the past. But the lover's card here is, it speaks to me directly about having to choose between two people, and the three of pentacles only clarifies that. So... If you guys are currently still like dealing with a person from your past um, or there was a recent like time off or being apart or giving each other some space, I do see a new person coming coming in and this is a new energy. So again, like I said, for some, it could be that there was a break of a relationship and you started dealing with someone else. For others, it could be that you're still dealing with an ex that is like you guys are currently not in a relationship, um, but you're contemplating giving it another shot. And what Spirit is telling you here is that um, 
if this was, if your ex-partner, the person that you were dealing with in the past, if they went and started a new relationship or a new partnership or a new, um, like basically giving an opportunity to a new person and it didn't work out in the, with that other person, I see them coming back around. So this is what they're saying is be mindful of that because there is a difference between and the reason why I say this is I feel almost like they're making it seem or they have made it seem like you're the toxic one. Um, and this could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. Um, but if it wasn't you, the one that was toxic or manipulative, and it was your partner, the one that was that way, uh, them coming back around, like it hasn't really given them, given them enough time to either internalize their behavior and i feel that the reaching out could possibly have to do with the fact that they were very impulsive in jumping into a relationship or connecting with someone very quickly it didn't work out basically so what they're telling you here is don't contemplate or think about giving the opportunity to the person from your past if in fact um you haven't used this time or I should say they haven't used this time to improve on themselves. Um, so the reason why they're coming back around is because it didn't work out on the other, on the other end. So it's kind of like that of thinking the grass is greener on the other side and then they find out it's artificial. So now they're coming back around trying to either make it up to you, trying to get your attention, trying to basically see if you're willing to give them an opportunity. And what Spirit is telling you here is that there is a need for you to really determine if you've been with this person for over a year, um, for over a year, and you even before the relationship ended, you guys were at a point where no one really knew where this relationship was going, then there needs to be some type of clarity in regards to that. Um, at the same time, what they're saying is don't be quick to go to the past only because it's comfortable or because it keeps you from uh, opening yourself up again or connecting with someone or even seeing it as an inconvenience because you're comfortable there. What they're telling you is you need to move forward, Leo. Stop entertaining what didn't work out in the past. Um, and like I said, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. But right at the center, we have the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is speaking to me about a situation where for some of you guys, it could even be that the partner left the partnership and committed to someone else. Uh, if this is something that you're going through, like I said, it could be vice versa. It could be you, the one that did this. Um, but I do see like having the desire to um, having the desire to want to fix what was done based off a, a quick or based off of like purely emotions. Um, so it could have been you that ran into another person, got into a committed relationship because you wanted to move on from this relationship that you felt the person was toxic. Or it could have been that your partner did exactly that. Either one, whoever was the one to walk away and it didn't work out on the other side or in the with the other person. This tells you that it has absolutely not to, nothing to do with the partner that you're with or you were with. It has more to do with you having the need to do self-healing. You having the need to heal, to understand um, some of the toxic traits or behaviors, not only of yourself, but it could be the people that you tend to attract. Um, and like I said, the lover's card is here as basically reminding you or letting you know you're at crossroads right now. You have two choices. One of them is to go back to the toxic behavior and inevitably end up feeling alone or single, even if you're in the relationship with this person, or you have the option 
to pave a new path, a new road, a new pathway that is going to, uh, it's basically believing in yourself and knowing your worth and not settling for anything less. And that will increase uh, or raise your vibration and shed or remove, basically purging yourself from past experiences or past behaviors to get you to the point of being able to find a solidified commitment uh, that comes through. And, and again, if you are dealing with a person from the past, you know, don't go off of what they're telling you, what they're promising you, um, even lies. They could come back and tell you, oh, I'm single. It's not working out over here. When in fact, that's a lie because there's still some type of commitment, some type of feeling like they're not free. They're not single. Um, and, and, you know, like I said, what they're telling you here is, yes, sometimes being alone or being single feels like it's going to be lonely or like, you know, it's, it's, um, like you're not ready because there is, there is an unknown energy. And I think that's what creates a lot of anxiety. Uh, but at the same time, what they're telling you is go off of what the people, what the person that you're dealing with is showing you through actions, not through words. So your final messages here is teaching, environmentalist, and energy healing. Um, you inspire young people to learn. So for some of you guys, it could be uh, perhaps you have this, this, you know, this type of energy where you tend to attract people that are rather immature or energies that have need a lot of healing uh, for some of you guys you guys can be empathic for others of you it could be that this is a lesson in itself for you um believing in yourself and knowing your worth and not allowing other people to belittle you or to take you as an option or to treat you like an option and environmentalist you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. So you may be feeling like being very prone or even aligning yourself to um, having the need to get into earth, uh, grounding yourself, uh, helping, or even uh, seeing a lot of like angel numbers, things like that. And what they're telling you is that use this time, Leo, for energy healing. Use this time to really work on yourself. Do not worry about, you know, and this is especially if you feel like you're dealing with a person that continuously keeps telling you um, that they've been hurt so much, that they've been through this and this and that. This doesn't give them the right to mistreat you. This doesn't give them the right to take advantage of your loyalty. And again, energy healing, this is your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life's purpose. So for some of you guys, you guys are nurturers. For others of you guys, you tend to take the mother-like figure in relationships where it's usually you the one that, um, as an example, if you're a woman, it could be you the one that uh, is very determined, is very focused, and you tend to take on the masculine energy. But then there is this gap of them like getting comfortable and not allowing like you're not allowing them to step up. Um, so there is a lot of growth that needs to happen with this particular person. But again, if we talk about empaths, if we talk about, um, you know, having a tendency of mothering partners, um, this doesn't do you any good because they tend to take advantage of that. So it's about finding the balance. And again, like I said, healing through this process. So my advice to you guys is don't rush into wanting to go back to the partner or wanting to fix that previous relationship. Or if it was your partner, the one that stepped out and went and did something uh, or started a new relationship, don't be quick to accept them or take them back. Make sure that they follow through with what they're telling you. Um, because I don't want you guys to end up being surprised and then later on finding out that they were actually still dealing with the other person. So I hope this gives you guys some type of clarity and insight, like sharing, comment, and we will see each other soon. Till then, talk to you later. Bye.